Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to go through my everyday makeup basket for April of 2019. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Actually, let's start from the bottom this time. So if you know my basket by now, you'll know down here I keep Project Pan supplies, and here are all of my powders. Hi there. For a face powder, I'm carrying over my ambient lighting powder in an ethereal light from Hourglass because I just hit pan on it. Look at that pan. I know I'll still get like probably two months of use after this, but since this is like the lightest powder that I own other than the next one I'm about to show you guys, I did want to get full use out of this before I start tanning at the top of a hat <laughs> this summer. The next face powder that's super light is one from Pixie, and this is just, what is it actually called? This is the Flawless Finishing Powder in Number Zero Translucent, and it's just that. It's super pale, translucent powder. I find I have a lot of trouble getting this onto a brush to actually use, so what I really want to do with this is I want to scrape this off and create a loose powder with it. So I want to see if I can create a loose powder and use this as my loose powder. So experimenting, it should be fun. I've got like an empty beauty bakery. Well, it's not empty right now. I just have, um, what is it called? I have a different powder in here. This isn't the beauty bakery bakery powder. So I'm going to put this back into its original container and then create the loose powder out of this in that container. I'm currently panning a highlighter, but this is one I've been reaching for ever since I kind of picked it up on a whim. This is a luxury uh, highlighter. Look at this. I picked up a highlighter from Dior. <laughs> this is the Dior Skin Nude Luminizer, and look how gorgeous this is. I've really been focusing down here on the DE. Oh my god. I swatched this in store, and I had to get it. It's gorgeous. It's probably the most expensive highlighter I own, but I, I actually love it. <laughs> and I keep it in the little, hello. I keep it in the little pouch because, uh, you know, I might as well. I spent that much money on it, right? <laughs> Last but not least, I'm bringing this NARS Mini <laughs> into my rotation. I am panning a blush, but I really need really to bring this in. It's like a combo blush and highlight. The blush is in Orgasm, and then the highlight is Hot Sand. And you want to know something funny? I was just browsing through Instagram, and I think it was Allure posted, like, um Zodiac profiles for the month of April, and I just, I was bored, and I read the Capricorn one, and it had some interesting stuff. I don't actually believe in it, but I think they're fun to read. And at the bottom of the at the bottom of it, it had a link, and it, and it was like, uh, use a, a hot, uh, I, forgot, I don't know the exact wording. It was like use something bright and different, uh, like Nars Orgasm Blush. And I was like, I have that in my collection. So you know what? Let's bring it in for April in honor of that kind of weird <laughs> uh, astrology thing that really wanted me to bring in this blush. The first foundation I have in here, and one that I really want to focus on this month, because I'm so close to actually finishing it, this is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Punjab. It's way too dark for me in the dead of winter, so I actually squirted it in. You can see a little bit of white right here. I squirted it in a bunch of the white mixer that I'm using, and it's actually almost a right shade after that. <laughs> I still have to lighten it a little bit, but I actually really like this foundation, and I'm almost done with it. So I really want to focus on this foundation and finish it in April. Speaking of the white mixer, this is my favorite white mixer. This is just the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Longwear Foundation, just in the white shade. Keeping in one of my Holy Grail foundations, the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is, again, a little bit too dark for me right now. This is in the shade 030, so this white mixer is just really coming in clutch during these winter months. The last foundation I have in here is from Too Faced, and this is the Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. This is in the shade Porcelain, but I have this shade because it oxidizes like mad. So uh, I'm going to see how this works when I have to like lighten it, but uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> 
Last but not least, I have like a little mini of Benefit's High Beam Liquid Highlighter. Uh, my grandma got like a little kit of minis and she gave me this because uh, she said I would use it more than she would. I figured I could try mixing it with the foundation to see if it works because that's really the only way I know to use liquid highlighters that works for me. So I'm going to try mixing this in with the Catrice and maybe with the NARS. Let's jump over to mascara. I'm bringing in my last backup mascara. This is from Wet n Wild and it's called the Max Fanatic Mascara. I think I used it once or twice, I think in like the full face Wet n Wild video, but I haven't given it a full try yet. So I'm gonna try and use this one. Next, I'm bringing in one of the items from my HP Project Pan video. This is just the mascara I'm using for the next couple of months. This is the YSL Mascara in green. It's green. It's not waterproof though, and if you want to hear a story about that, check out my last update. I'll put it up in the cards. <laughs> last but not least, I have a mini of this Hourglass Caution Mascara, and I picked this in my last Bite Size Reviews video, so if you missed that, I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards. But I wanted to keep it in my mascara drawer because I find that if I don't keep my sample mascaras in there, I won't really reach for them or I'll forget about them. <laughs> Let's jump over to all of my eye and brow products. I have two clear brow gels I'm trying to use up, one from e.l.f. and one from Milani. The Milani one isn't really that great. I love the e.l.f. one, but I hate the packaging and I hate the spoolie you get in this one. It is way too small. I cannot use it. So what I've actually been doing is like scraping the product out of this e.l.f. one and putting it into this NYX container just because it's actually got a nice spoolie in it. And it's kind of been working. <laughs> I, quite honestly, I just need to finish these up and buy another clear brow gel. I, of course, have my NYX glitter glue. This one is almost empty, and this is the next backup ready to go. I'm carrying over my ABH brow gel, not brow gel, my ABH dip brow in the shade Granite, just because I'm actually so close to finishing this up. I hit super pan on it, and then I scraped everything together back onto the bottom, and that's all that I have left. I feel like I could finish this up probably in like the next month or two. For black liquid liner, I'm finishing up the sample I got of the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner in Intense Black. I also wanted to bring in these two pencil liners from Marc Jacobs, one in just black and then one in like a clear kind of champagne color. Let me see what it's actually called. So it's just called In the Buff. Alrighty, let's jump into concealer. Okay, so these technically aren't concealers, but I have them in this drawer. These are the Cut Crete Canvases Full Coverage Eyeshadow Bases from Makeup Revolution. I got the white shade, and then I got a shade that's fairly close to where I am right now. I believe this is the shade Illustrate. So these are supposed to be like really good for doing your cut creases because the brush looks like that. So I have only tested this out a couple of times. I really do want to do a video on this to see if it's easier than using like your makeup brushes, but they're pretty affordable. I got them in my last Ulta order. Next, I have an affordable concealer from LA Girl. This is the Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Natural. Last but not least, I have the concealer combination I've actually been living for recently. This is a little sample of the Born This Way concealer in, what what shade do I have? In the shade Snow, which is way too light for me, but I'm mixing it in with the Flower Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. What shade are you? In the shade Light. So the Too Faced is way too light on me, the flower is a little bit too dark for me, but by mixing these under my eyes, I get the perfect shade and the formulas just work so well together. I actually love this combination. Last but not least, let's do primers. I'm carrying over my Cover FX Blurring Primer. This is the primer I'm using for my pores just until it's done. I feel like it's pretty much at least halfway done by now. Next, I have this mini of the MAC Strobe Cream. This is actually something I pulled out of like the very back of my primer drawer. I forgot I had it. But I thought this would be a good time of year to use it as I'm looking for a more dewy look, a more glowy kind of look. In addition to wanting to be glowy, I really want to be hydrated. So I'm pulling in my next best hydrating primer. And this is the Misha BB Boomer. 
boosting cream slash primer. This is almost empty, I feel like, but I actually really like this. It gives you a little bit of a glow, but it also feels like you're putting a moisturizer on. It's awesome. Alrighty, and that is everything from my everyday makeup basket for April. Let me know down below what you guys are using for April. And also don't forget to check out all of my project pan videos because that's basically where I'm filling in the gaps in this basket because I'm panning so many products right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!